So, all right, we're back. Okay, so what they want, though, we drew a picture. We drew a picture, but that's not what they want. They want to know what's the equation, okay? Now, I'm just curious. This right here has a vertex of zero, zero, okay? Do you think, and I know I'm a bad drawer, but I'm drawing things that, just be honest with me. Do you think this is probably a good, a good drawing of the parabola, or is that like really, really bad? That's really bad, and here's why. This point right here, compare this distance to that distance. No. They're not even close. They're not even close, okay? Now, do you think this is oh. maybe a little better, maybe a little better? Yeah, probably. Because this distance and this distance, they're, they're, they're closer, okay? But it doesn't matter, okay? We just want a quick, rough graph, okay? So, let me ask you this. Does this quick, ugly, rough graph look like, which of these does it look like? Does it look like number one, two, two three, or four, okay? Because it's negative. So we're, we're gonna write down y equals ax squared. y equals ax squared. Now we're not done. But we know something about a. a is what? a is negative. Negative what? Somebody say it. You know it's negative one? So negative what? Somebody say it. I don't, know. I don't know either. Negative something, okay? We gotta find out what A is. If only, we know it's negative something, that's not good enough. I want better than that, okay? If only we had a formula that helped us find out what A is. Anybody know a formula that helps us find out what A is? A is one over four P. So let's write down A equals one over four P. P is the distance from the focus or the direct, uh, or direct, I, I, this is not even total, I'm sorry. From the focus to the vertex, I'm sorry. Put, add that in there. It's distance from the focus to the vertex, or the focus to the direct, or the directrix to the vertex. It doesn't matter, okay? Either way, okay? So what is P? What would P be? Jordan answered a few minutes ago. What is P? Good, you didn't giggle. I thought some of you guys would giggle when I asked what P is. Okay, there it goes. Okay. P is the distance from the vertex to the focus or the vertex to the directrix. It's what? It's what though? It's the same, but it's what? It's two. It's two units. So equals one over four times two. So one over eight. Be careful, we've already answered this. Is A one eighth? We said A was what kind of a number? So it's not one eighth, it's what? It's negative one. So what's my equation? Y equals, what's A? One eighth. Negative one eighth. Negative one eighth what? X squared. Negative one eighth X squared. Now if you're going, oh, I don't quite get that, that's okay. That's, we're done with that problem. Oh, cool. It's only one problem, okay? Let's look at problem number seven. Problem number seven. Let's look at problem number seven. These will get easier. This one we have vertex is zero. Vertex is something. And be careful. Make sure you read these carefully. First one, they said the focus in directrix. Here they're giving you the vertex in directrix, okay? The vertex, they're telling us this time. Put down vertex is zero, zero. And if you're wondering, is the vertex always zero, zero? At first it will be, but eventually they won't be. And the directrix is y equals negative six. Okay. I wrote down the inf I read it, I wrote the information, then what? Draw a picture. Vertex is zero, zero. I'll label that V, what the heck. Directrix, where is Y? Where is Y? Negative six. Down six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I put a dot there? The, uh, the directrix is a line on the axis or across it? Across. Okay. Is this parabola opening up, down, left, or right? It's got to open up. It's got to go away from the directrix, okay? Now, be careful here. Is this point in the cup? Yeah. Not this time. This is not the focus. The vertex is on the cup. So it goes like this. 
It's a quick draw prayer. But if that was the focus, then, so it didn't give then it would have been. If it was, but it wasn't. It didn't give us the focus. It did not give you the focus. But if you can answer this right now, great. Anybody think they know what the focus is? Well, it's gonna the focus is a point. Zero six. Said that. Oh, okay. I can't tell these masks on. Yeah, zero six. How do you know it was zero six? You went down six, so you have to go up six. The point zero six. Now, did they ask us for the focus? No. But that's good that you know it. It's zero six. Okay. And again, why didn't this open down? It has to go away from the directions. And if I do it sideways, is it going to go away from it? No, it's eventually going towards it. Same thing here. The only way it goes away from it is if it opens up. So, so is this... To get the into zero six, I would then be an X, and that's what makes it sideways? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. I wouldn't have given this information if it, if it wasn't. Yep. Don't ask me why. That was his question. Okay. All right. So we get, what, what, what does this kind of look like? Uh, number one, two, three, or four? Uh, one. one. It's opening up. So it's Y equals AX squared. We know something about A. It's what? Positive. Positive, positive what? No. It's positive something, okay? So A equals 1 over 4P. What is P this time? 6. This distance is 6. So 1 over 4 times 6, which is 1 over 24. And what's 1 over 24? 24. But what is 124? What is that? A. And what's A? You don't say 124. Okay. What is A? But, but what is it? It's a number in front of the x squared or the y squared. In this case, it's a number in front of the x squared. So we got to change it to negative, right? We changed it last time. It was down. This one we said it was positive. So our answer is what? Y equals 124th x squared. That's the equation of the parabola that goes through, or that has that focus in, or a vertex in the direction that they gave you. Let's try a few more. Number, number nine. Okay. Question number nine. We have what? Uh, vertex is zero zero. And focus, this time they give us the focus of zero negative ten. Zero negative ten. This time they didn't tell you the directrix. Now be careful on this. The directrix is a line. Is a line. Okay? And they don't you don't need to know the directrix. I'm gonna ask you it though in a second. So let's plot things. We have zero zero right there. And where's zero negative ten? Down oh, 10. So the directrix is in the left one, right? Okay, so what would the directrix be? Y equals 10. Very good. I thought you were just going to say 10. Is 10 a line? No. 10's a number. It, it would have been the line. And if that makes it easier for you, go ahead and draw that in there. You don't have to do it, but it's great. If you know it, great. You have a good understanding of this right now, okay? How is this parabola opening up, down, left, or right? Down. It's got to go down. Is this thing in the cup? Zero, zero? No, it's a high point. It's a, ver yeah. it's a vertex, yep. In this case, it's a high point. There is no low point, so it goes down forever. To make this a little bit easier, if you think, man, i got to memorize all this stuff right here, and I already said this once, I'm going to say it again. What direction is y? Just the y-axis goes up and down. x is left and right. So these open up or down, these open left or right. Why did this one open up? Because it's positive. Negative goes down. Positive goes to the right, negative goes to the left. So, this is opening down. So is it going to be y equals or x equals? Y equals something x squared. Okay? And what do we know about a? It's got to be what kind of a number? Negative. Negative, so it's going down. It's negative, negative something, okay? Well, a is 1 over 4p. What's p? Negative 10. Now, I'm glad you said negative 10. You're not wrong. I'm asking for simply a distance. All I care about is a distance. Ten. Just put 10. Just put 10 down, okay? I would just put, we'll deal with the negatives later. The negative deals with the direction. The distance is 10, okay? Mm -hmm. Just ignore the negative for right now. Well, no, we, we've already dealt with the negative. You already said A was what kind of a number? Negative, negative something. It's going to be negative something. We've already dealt with the negative. Don't worry about the negative just anymore. Leave it out. 
Just forget. I mean, you know it's negative, and then put just it back at it. put it at the very end. Yeah. So one over four times ten. So a is one. negative one fortieth. X squared. Let's try a few more. Okay, there's no number eleven. Let's look at number thirteen. God, I want to get into ones that open sideways. Let's look at number 13. There's no number 11. Okay, now focus. Uh, directrix, x to the symmetry of y equals 1 8. Okay, this is something we haven't talked about yet. Y equals 1 8 x squared. I'll give you a little clue here. We're working backwards. The problems we've done so far, they gave you information and asked you for what? The equation. Here they're giving you the equation, they're asking you for the information. You still start it out the same way. We draw a picture. Are we going to have a parabola that opens up, down, left, or right? If you just read this, it's gonna open up right. you'll be able to answer this in one word. If you read the first, you need three words. Y is positive. It's positive one. Y is, y is what directions? Up. up and down. And Y is positive? No. Up. So draw a parabola opening up. From zero zero. For right now, everything is zero. It's always it's it's only going to change from zero zero if you see what or what in there, and we haven't seen it yet. When does it start moving around? When you put well, we plusing or minusing. When you add or subtract, it starts sliding it around. We're not doing that yet. Okay. So what's the that? Focus is going to be two. And You're close. The focus is a point. You're on the right track. Zero, oh, zero two. two. And then the line is just going to be y equals one. So how Very good. Now, one? how the heck, if you're going, where did you get two from? Do you need to find A on this one? No, we know what A is. A is what? One eight. A is one eight. We're still going to use that formula. A is one over four P. And we know A is one eight. How'd you get two? I took eight and divided by four. Or four times? Two is eight. So that distance is two. So right here, this distance is two. That was terrible. That distance is two. How'd you figure that out? We use the formula. A is one over four p. We know what a is. A is the number in front of the x squared. And it's one eight. So we put one eight in. And if the if the bottom, let's do some basic number theory here. If we have equal fractions, if the top numbers are the same, doesn't that stand to reason that the bottom numbers? Have to be what? The same. They gotta be the same. Now if I give you this, seven eight equals box over eight. What is a box over whatever that is? Seven. It has to be seven. Since the bottoms are the same, the tops are the same. Now if I gave you this, three fifths equals uh, nine over triangle. I'm not quite sure what the triangle is off the top of my head, but I know it's not five. Yeah, it's How do I know it's not five? Because the tops aren't. If the tops aren't the same, then the bottoms aren't the same. I yeah, uh, yeah, it is. Okay, very good. Right, but was that a little bit tougher? If the tops are the if the tops are the same, the bottoms are the same. The tops aren't the same, the bottoms aren't the same. Same thing goes here. They're both one. Four P has to be eight, so it's two. So this is the point what? Zero two. Zero two. And what what is zero two? What is that? That's the focus. I'm gonna label that out. This right here is down two, and it's a line. It's the line y equals negative 2. Then what is that? That's the directrix. So what's the, what else do they ask us? Do they ask us for the, they don't ask us for the focus, or the, uh, the uh, vertex, but the vertex is what? Zero, zero. Zero, zero. For now, okay. And they didn't ask us for the vertex, but they did ask us for the axis of symmetry. And I want to put somebody on the spot, but she's helping somebody right now. You're up. Okay. Zero, zero is the vertex. That's not because you're talking, not in trouble. I just want you to redeem yourself. Yeah. The vertex is zero, zero. What's the axis of symmetry? Ooh. You're still doing it. Oh, <laughs> X equals zero. You better get that before test time, okay? X equals zero is the axis of symmetry. Okay, I'm sure you can use help. Because we have one and one. Right. These are the same. So these have to be the same. 
four times. Two. There we go. Whoa, four times two. Okay, hang on. Do we have time for a while? Let me get. Let me just look at that. Oh, and then they. And there's only one of them that opens down. Let me just look at 15. Let's try to knock one more out fast. What time? 50? Yeah, we can do it. Okay, last one, 15. Okay, so on 15, same stuff. They give us some, inf they give us the uh, equation x equals negative 1 20th y squared, okay? They ask us for the axis of symmetry and the vertex and the focus directors, all that stuff, okay? So how is this parabola opening? Up, down, left, or right? X, X is what direction? Left or right is negative. Whoa. Whoa, daddy. To the left. And the vertex is still 0, 0 because we haven't moved it. There's no adding or subtracting yet, okay? So the focus is over here somewhere. Let me ask you this. Do you think that's a good drawing of where the directrix is? No. Why? Because it's too far away. Does this look better? Yes. Is that perfect? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> but this distance and this distance are supposed to be the same. Y equals five. Very good. How did you guys get uh, distance? Well, hang on a second. Whoa, whoa. X equals five. Because where are you guys getting five from? Because I took 20 and divided by 4. Just ignore the negative right now. A is 1 over 4P, and we know what A is. It's what? 120. Now, why did you guys get 5? Because I took 20 and divided by And you can only do that if the tops are the same. If the bottoms aren't the same, it's a, if the tops are different, then it's a little, it's a little tough. Something okay. tells me we're going to have to have the tops not be different. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah not, yet, not today, but they will be. So P is 5. So what's this? I'm asking for is the distance. What's this distance? 5. What's this distance? 5. You're at 0, 0. Go 5 left. Yeah, zero. Or five yeah, not 0, zero. negative 5. 5. That's negative down 5. Negative, negative five. 5, 0. What's negative 5, 0? The focus. I'm going to label it up. Be careful on this one. If we go 5 to the right, you're at positive 5. It's not Y equals 5. It's a vertical line. That's not y equals 5. Uh, What's x equals 5? Directrix. Right. Okay, Madison, you're up again. Vertex is 0, 0. What's the axis of symmetry? There we go. I'm not picking on you. I just don't want you messing up on the test. I don't want you missing it. Don't worry. And, they, and it's, it's tricky because they don't have you type in x equals 0. They just have to type in 0, I think. Or no, they probably have you give it both this time. Or not. Check out my arm. No, they... Oh, it's... Oh. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, we're, no, we're good. We're good. Well, you might want to jot this down. It just asks for the... X equals 0 is the axis of symmetry. X equals 0 is the what axis. Okay. Not the x axis. Oh, it's the y axis. You might want to jot that down. X equals zero is the Y axis. Y equals zero is the X axis. Okay, you might want to jot that down. Okay. All right. It will be easier tomorrow. Okay.